Yeah. When is that going to happen? I just answered your exact <laughs> colleague. Well, now we're on camera. Now we're on camera. camera. On, on, on the exact on question. Okay, well, what's the, what is the on-camera answer? Uh, to what question? To when are you going to move to vacate? Well, whether a motion to vacate is filed is, I don't want these guys to trip. Okay, gotcha. Whether a motion to vacate is filed is still entirely within the hands of Speaker McCarthy. All he has to do is come into compliance with the deal he made in January to become Speaker. Now, there is progress. In, in the last few hours, there's real momentum behind the concept of abandoning governing by continuing resolution and instead moving to an agreed upon top line spending number for the federal government and then nestling within that top line single subject individual spending bills as I've been calling for for the better part of a year. We have a meeting in the next several hours where I hope and expect that our leadership will lean into uh, the very paradigm that I've laid out to be able to root out this woke and weaponized government. Because you said uh, initially that even a CR on the floor would be enough to trigger it. Do you still have, is that still your position that even if he puts a CR on the floor, you'll well, go forward? The report I'm giving you is that I believe we've heard the eulogy for governing by CR. Uh, that's not to say there won't be a resurrection, but the momentum in the Republican House right now is to move away from lumping all of these disparate agencies of government together in one vote. That's a bad way. That's an unserious way to govern. And instead, setting a top line consistent with our agreement in January and then doing single subject appropriations bills pursuant to that top so line. So if it's a one-month CR and you agree on a top line, that would not trigger a uh, vacay? Mano, I, I don't know how many times I have to tell you this. But we are done governing by CR. I am done but governing by CR. But they still have to do a CR. You acknowledge that they have to do a CR. I do not. I, you, you, something appears to not be getting through. Okay. No, CR is the position of a requisite number of Republicans. Mm -hmm. Now, if Republican moderates want to go team up with Democrats and sign a discharge petition to take over the floor with Democrats, well, they'll be signing their own political death warrant, and they'll be handing it to their executioner because it'll be the very Democrats they act in concert with who will hunt them during the upcoming election season. Won't be us. It'll be the people that they... So we, I can't stop someone from signing their own political death warrant and handing it to their executioner. But if that is what governs this country, then let's go ahead and get to it. And then uh, I think conservatives can cast a competing vision, and, and I would be a part of leading that. If Speaker McCarthy relies on Democrats. If Speaker, if Speaker McCarthy relies on Democrats to pass a continuing resolution, uh, I would call the Capitol moving truck to his office pretty soon because my expectation would be he'd be out of the Speaker's office quite promptly. Uh, I also want to point out that while spending is the real thrust of the January agreement, it is not the only element. I also am demanding an up or down vote on congressional term limits. I am demanding an up or down vote on a balanced budget amendment. And Speaker McCarthy has not been compliant with that. He has not signaled a willingness to be compliant, even though those exact things are on a written agreement that Kevin McCarthy, uh, you know, essentially acquiesced to. So what is the actual deadline to file a motion to vacate? I know you said that you have these demands, that the Speaker doesn't fulfill them, but what's your deadline, your drop-dead deadline? Well, I would say this government funding dispute presents a real crucible to make that decision. And right now, my goal, or I would say over the last several days, my principal goal in that battle has been to kill the continuing resolution that was, that was offered by several of my colleagues. That's dead. We've buried it. It's six feet under. Now what I'm trying to, to kill is the concept that we are ever going to govern by continuing resolution. And I'm sensing some progress toward that end. So you're sensing there's going to be a government shutdown? Yes, uh, that we will have a government shutdown, and it is absolutely Speaker McCarthy's fault. We cannot blame Joe Biden for not having moved our individual spending bills. We cannot blame House Democrats. We can't even blame Chuck Schumer in the Senate. We were entirely in control of whether or not to be on schedule with single subject spending bills, and we didn't. And that's not a bug of the system. That's a feature of the system, because the lobbyists and the special interests who own Kevin McCarthy want us to have this all jammed up at the end so that power is centralized and then the donors get paid off and the, the interests of the American people get subjugated. That's why we haven't had individual spending bills since like 1997. Okay, so did anyone else have a question? Thank you. I, I came up late, so sorry if I already answered this. When are you planning to bring forward the motion to vacate? Uh, you are late and, and I've, I've, I've significantly answered that. Any other questions? I just want to, I guess, 
the speaker told me today that he's going to move on a CR no matter what. He's going to get it done. It might not be tomorrow. It might be next week. So if he can't get it done by the deadline, that's when you'll file the motion? Well, Speaker McCarthy hasn't really shown highly proficient at counting votes this week. Mm -hmm. So when he tells you he's going to get something done, I, I, would, I would probably ask what the coalition is that's going to facilitate that. If it's a coalition that involves using Democrats to roll conservatives to advance Joe Biden's spending priorities, then uh, that, will, that will likely mark the beginning of the series of votes on a motion to vacate. What if he flips enough Republicans? Uh, we're not going to have sufficient Republican support for a continuing resolution. Have you talked to him since you made all these threats about him? I think you know, I think that categorizing them as threats is, is a bit pejorative. I simply seek Threat compliance. Speaker said. I, I want compliance. Whether or not Kevin McCarthy's speaker remains in his hands. Have you spoken to him? Do you anticipate a shutdown would last if House Republicans did follow your approach? Uh, I think that it, it would be a shutdown that we could endure. Uh, we would have to own it. We would have to hold the leaders accountable who brought it forward. But the most important thing right now, my most important objective, is to shatter this notion that continuing resolutions will govern the body. How many no's have you whipped? I don't whip oh, anybody. I just try to Sounds encourage. Like you are. <laughs> ah, whip, whip's a, whip's a harsh word. So I'm an encourager. Well, I'll take care of you guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you, Congressman.